Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, today number 31 of this current series where I go around and focus on Southern California eating establishments. It just keeps on, keeps on moving on. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Batteries recharged, sunglasses, and other accessories, and off I go. You're right, Big the Foot. Traffic has been a lot lighter during this duration. And this lane is paved in two separate sections. Arrived at the cross streets of the 200 East block of 94th Street and La Brea Ave in Inglewood, very close to LAX. You see that plane flying over. Foster's Old Fashioned Freeze, an ice milk product that has tacos, hamburgers, banana splits. This is the original location, the one that started it all. Started by a gentleman by the name of George Foster back in 1946, and since then has expanded to over 70 locations, even some in this general vicinity, just down the road and you know all around Los Angeles, that region. But it all started here, and underneath the flight path, you can hear the, actually you can see the plane going by right there. I originally heard about this place a few years ago from my friend Roscoe Soul Train, who was really into the nostalgia of the signage and the taste of the soft serve and through the course of this one month series that I have been doing so far, it's still continuing, it took me till now to arrive at one and I thought out of all of them, why not check out the number one? I don't know if it's ever been completely 100% confirmed, but there is a hard rumor that the Beach Boys wrote the song Fun 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 at one of these establishments. Not this particular one, It seems like it. You know, it's a hamburger stand. Down at the hamburger stand. This is, they didn't always serve hamburgers. Not in the beginning, but they do serve hamburgers now. So that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for a hamburger, maybe a side, and then finish off with a little soft serve. It definitely has an old school vibe. These are the kind of buildings I really love. Really gives, gives back the ambiance of the past. Just take a gander at that beautiful item. The cone itself is saying, come on in. Got the arm expanded, the handout saying, this is the spot for all your delicious treat needs. Old fashions in quotes. I guess it's referred to as Foster's Freeze. You will hear people refer to it as the old fashioned. But I will. Quite an array of items here lining the, the window. You know, I'm going to go with a number two, quarter pound old fashioned. It says here that I could get the combo and I can make it a shake, a little bit of an upgrade. I think I'm going to save the shake and go with the cone after the fact. Might not have to head over to a park today. I got two picnic tables here on the side and two in the front, which doesn't really look to be too occupied. So I'm just gonna sit here. Total cost of the first order, about $7.70, give or take a penny, I can't recall precisely, but around $7, almost eight, between seven and eight dollars. Got, they said there's a secret sauce, so I said, yes, put the secret sauce on the old fashioned combo, the number two, I opted out of a soda to get a water and upgraded, it was an extra dollar more from the combo price to get onion rings instead of just regular french fries. So that's what I'm gonna be consuming. Instead of take about five, five minutes, give or take. Okay, there it is. The bag has the logo right there on the side stating since 1946. 
Got the purified water. And down in there, this is what we're dealing with. I guess I really don't need this on anymore at the moment. Got to unwrap it. All of it's wrapped up. So we got the onion rings here. I can tell from the heat exuding from the bag itself. It's almost like a little, almost like a little mouse saying, get some of this fried goodness. And there's about eight to 10, eight to 10, maybe even closer to a dozen down in there. And I'm just gonna go right in. Oh, it's hot. That's hot, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot. That's hot. All right. All right. Okay, I should have waited just a little bit on that. Gave me a handful of napkins. We got some little ketchup packets, if I so choose, for the onion rings. Actually, quite a few ketchup packets, a total of four, and burger right down in there. Oh yeah. This is, a, this is a pretty hefty burger. Yeah. Look at this. Wrapped up. See that goodness, kind of. Whoa, what's that noise? <laughs> oh yeah. Kind of windy out here, so I have to. All right, check this thing. We got. I asked. They asked if I wanted cheese. I said yes. So I got cheese on there. The aforementioned secret sauce. Oh wow! This is a very fresh. I haven't been into it yet, but it appears to be a very fresh ingredient. We got the good slice of tomato. We got the meat patty on there. We got quite an assortment of lettuce. A good. A good amount ounce wise of lettuce and I see some pickles down in there. I do like pickles. I'm taking it. Foster's freeze. Yeah I always want to call it foster freeze but it's Foster's because the gentleman's last name was Foster. So it's his freeze. And I also he was he somehow had an affiliation with Dairy Queen on the West Coast. It's happening. That's a hamburger. Yeah, no bones about it. That is a that is a legit hamburger. Very close to homemade. When you take the grill out of the backyard, make it up. Maybe not the patty so much. But because of the ingredients, because of all that lettuce and the pickles, good, good sized pickles, and that secret sauce, of course. I didn't know what to expect before I arrived. I did not know what the burger was going to be like. I know the ice cream is probably going to be pretty, pretty fantastic, but I was kind of, kind of iffy on the burger. I am not disappointed at all. I kind of wish there was one in Orange County. As far as I know, there's not. If there was one in my neighborhood, this would be a frequented establishment. Wow. Very positive, positive, positive rating on this burger. The ingredients, 100% the ingredients that make it. The bread, 
pretty common. Even the meat patty, pretty common. But it's everything else that goes in. Now, maybe these have cooled down a little bit by now. The onion rings are pretty much the standard. I wouldn't say they're like anything above or below what you would expect, but they are a nice, nice addition to that burger, which was above my expectations. I had a friend once when I worked, my last job I ever had was in a, a feed store. I worked there for quite some time. I worked retail for over 20 years. The last five years of that tenure doing customer service and retail, I worked in a feed store where I threw hay, carried two or three 50 pound bags of feed on my shoulder out to customers' trucks. It was in a little bit better shape then. I don't know if I could throw three 50 pound bags on my shoulder and not, not take a couple days off after it now but i had a friend that worked there we were, we were pretty close and we would all talk about all kind of random things and he had this philosophy that if you drink a soda a coffee or a tea a juice a shake anything if you followed it up immediately after with the same ounces of water that it would flush it out and there's no there's no mathematical evidence to this. There is nothing to say that that computes completely and is 100% true. Nothing written in the in the books on, I'm not a doctor or a nurse or anything like that, or anything that has to do with any of the health magazines that would probably say that. But I always found it fascinating. And I, I like drinking water. It makes me feel good. I do drink a lot of the other stuff, but I do drink a heck of a lot of water. seeing the airplanes going by. One went right over there. Earlier one went right over this way. So the flight path must like not be exact. There must be a couple of different runways. Because yeah, there's one over that way, a few hundred yards. And when I was standing over there getting the, the wide shot of the whole exterior, one went right over. An assortment of different sizes here. You could, you could kind of make a little mountain of fried onion rings, starting with the it's like a puzzle. Starting with the different sizes. Look at this. Here we go. And then the little piece on top there. There we go. It's like a snake. It's like a snake all wrapped up. This is the snaky tail. I'm gonna bite the snaky tail been taught since I was young not to play with my food. All bets are off right now because when you're younger you usually play with your food because you're not hungry anymore. And I'm still hungry so I'm going to I've created an art installation here that I'm going to eat. I'm going to take them one by one. Well, that was crunchy. That one was not, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish these. There's a handful of people across the road over there hanging out. I keep looking over here wondering, what's that guy doing? He's just eating onion rings. That was a that was a good meal. Now time to top it off with a delicious cone. There are cones. And there's the assortment of sizes. I'll do a, a medium medium vanilla cone. Okay. Even along the bottom there, they have their logo paper wrapping. That is a good size amount of 
vanilla ice cream. Don't mind if I do. It's towering. It's not too humid today, but this thing probably will melt quickly. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, that's good sauce there. Ooh, cold. I don't want to get a brain freeze. Might need a couple more napkins. She asked if I need any more napkins, and I said, said I was okay, but I think I regret that decision. Let me get some more. I think I will have some more napkins. I didn't realize I was going to drink this quickly. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, big point coming in up there. You can hear it, hear the rumbling of it. Should have got a small, a lot of ice cream. You can imagine what the large is like. Woo! I see cold milk goodness. Now, I eat some sweets occasionally. I'll eat a donut every once in a while. Usually I have donuts like once a month. I don't have them at the theme parks. Obviously I'll try new treats and whatnot. But my go-to is normally ice cream or a shake. I don't even do that all the time. It's not a daily occurrence that I get. This thing is dripping in Florida. It, this thing would have already been nothing but liquid. This is like three, four-fifths non-liquid. Ooh, it's just dripping. Standing on the road here in Inglewood. Passer buyers and onlookers on that corner, over there, and then back over there. Oh my goodness. That is a messy but delicious, tasty item. That's gonna do it for today. There's another plane goes by. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop and update on future uploads here on this channel. You can take it a step further and ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. It's cold. It's real cold. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. It's over.